Genesis Ultimatum. Terror. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> baby. That is where it's at. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Dan, I'm the MTG Engineer, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Arena gameplay video. On this channel, I release four new videos each week showcasing different deck lists. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when those videos go live. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights. Links for those are down in the description below. Today's deck is a Teamer Ramp deck. Teamer Ramp is still insanely powerful, even post Omnath ban. It is this is still a very very popular and insanely powerful deck, even without Omnath. It, it's crazy some of the plays that you can get. You can and this deck will literally win out of nowhere. I've had a couple of games where I was I was down. I thought I was down and out, but I literally came back and won um, in in one single turn. It was crazy. As always, timestamps are down in the description so you can skip ahead to any relevant portion of the video if you so choose. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the deck. All right, so here is the deck. Um, so this deck still revolves around, mostly now that Omnath is gone, still one card, Genesis Ultimatum. Now, uh, we don't have, what, what this deck used to have, which have been banned, are Omnath and then Genesis... Uh, Escape into the wilds. There we go. Excuse me. Escape into the wilds. Even without those cards, this deck is still insanely powerful. Now, Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, two green, two green, three blue, and two red. Sorcery, look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. At worst, at worst, you're drawing five cards. So, at worst case scenario, you are going to draw five cards. Okay? Now, Obviously, we want the majority of the cards that we're drawing to go straight onto the battlefield, right? That is, that's best case, that's what we want, right? Okay, so now if you look at the deck, okay, we need permanence, okay? So we need permanence. On, so in this deck list, a set we have all, all but, we have three Shatter Skull Smashings, we have four Cultivates, okay? So that's seven total, two Turn Timber Symbiosis, excuse me. All right, so that's nine, nine total, and then Gen another Genesis Ultimate, the Genesis Ultimate, excuse me. So that should be, I believe, thirteen cards. Thirteen cards out out of the entire deck are non permanents. So that is a very very high percent chance that we are going to hit. Um, we're going to hit permanents that are just going to going to go straight to the battlefield. Um, Pretty much every time I've cast Genesis Ultimatum with this deck, I have hit f three or four. Three to four. I mean, at minimum, I've hit three. I've hit three permanents every single time I've cast Genesis Ultimatum, at minimum. Majority of the time, I, I've been hitting four out of five. Four out of the those five cards I'm drawing straight onto the field, which is insane. That is crazy. Um, I mean, like, it's... That is the reason you are never out of the game. You're never out of the game with this deck, um, assuming assuming you're not playing a a, a deck running a, a crap ton of counters, uh, counter spells. You're always gonna be in this game. So Genesis Ultimatum, an insane card, right? Okay, so let's let's get into the other cards here. We've got, of course, four Lotus Cobras for that ramp, three Shatter Skull Smashings. Okay, um, Shadow Skull Smashing is a real, is a really fantastic removal piece. Um, sh it, it's helped me quite a bit. Uh, so, and the versatility is nice too. So X and two red. So Shadow Skull Smashing deals X damage, divide as you choose among up to two Tark creatures and or Planeswalkers. If X is six or more, Shadow Skull Smashing deals twice X damage instead. Uh, twice X damage, divided as you choose among them instead. All right, so... Um, X again can be whatever. So a nice, a nice, uh, versatile, versatile removal piece. One glass pole mimic. So we can copy literally anything on the field, uh, which can be helpful in quite a few different matchups, actually. Four Bone Crusher Giants. Um, I, I think I even mentioned this in, uh, portions of the gameplay video. Bone Crusher Giant, it, there's a reason. Um, there's a tournament. I think it was, a war, was it Worlds? I think like two weeks ago, maybe. 
Um, but they they released the metagame numbers, and I think in the, of the field, Bone Crusher Giant was in like was it ninety four percent of the decks or something like that. It's crazy. It's insane. But this is such a good card. It is a fantastic card, right? Because think about it. I mean, it's so much better than Shock. So the Stomp one in a red, right? Damage can be prevented this turn. Stomp deals two damage to any target. Okay. It is so much better than just a shock, right? You're doing, sure, you're doing the two damage, okay? But it's also two damage that can turn into a 4-3 later, right? Now, on top on top of the shock, the, the thing that doesn't really come into play a lot is the damage can't be prevented this turn. Um, there were a few standards ago. Um, let's see, when Nexus of Fate was in standard. Um, I can't remember the deck, but there was, there was a, there was, and I actually, I think this card was in that deck where they, it would, um, man, what do they even call it? I can't, I, I am blanking. <laughs> I am blanking right now. Um, but anyway, it was a, it was a card that basically said no damage, no damage happens this turn. Right. So B Bone Crusher Triant would have been crazy in that, uh, in that format. Um, so anyway, Bone Crusher is just such an, ama an amazing card because, again, you're not just doing that two damage. You're also getting a 4-3 out of the deal, assuming assuming each spell resolves, right? So it's just it's so much better, and there's a reason there's a reason it's played in just about every deck running red. Excuse me. All right. So moving along, we've got four Cultivates, Ramp. Four Lawnware Visionaries, Ramp, and draws you a card. Four Terror of the Peaks, which I like to call them. Machine Gun Kelly. So, Terror of the Peaks is fantastic. 3-2 um, red flying. Spells your opponent's cast at target Terror of the Peaks cost an additional 3 life to cast. Don't forget that. Please don't forget that. I made that mistake once, and I'm never going to make that mistake again. Um, you're down If you're down to 3, 4 life, 5 life left, um, I there was one game where... There was a two. I, I had a two for one. I had Terror of the Peaks on the field, and then I think the opponent cast like two shocks right on him. They just took six damage. So that's you need to weigh that. Weigh that against um, what you're doing. What you are giving up to take care of Terror of the Peaks is always going to be you can't you target it. You're taking that three life. That can be big in some matches. Always remember that. So the last portion, the machine gun portion, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. So let's say you have a Beanstalk Giant. Beanstalk Giant's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control, and you control 10 lands. You're just doing 10 damage to whatever you want. You're going 10 damage to face. It's crazy. So those two right there, Terror of the Peaks and Beanstalk Giant, you get a hit on if you get a hit on Genesis Ultimatum and you hit Terror of the Peaks and two Beanstalk Giants, that's a lot of damage. Or better yet, Genesis Ultimatum, you hit two Terror of the Peaks and two Beanstalk Giants. Let's let's even say let's just say you had you have, I mean, uh, my word seven. Say so you hit seven. You have seven lands on the field, right? Two Terror of the Peaks. Two beanstalk giants, and let's let's even say you miss on, on on the fifth card, right? So two tear the peaks, that's five, and then two sevens, 14, 24 damage times two for tear the peaks. Yep. Actually, no, that'd be minus ten. Yep, that'd be minus ten because the tear of the peaks don't trigger themselves, so it's still, but that's still fourteen each, fourteen each. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? Is my math right? I don't think my math is right. We said what? Seven? So 14. Okay, yeah. So seven and seven, that's 14 plus the five, that's 19. All right, there we go. 19 damage for each tear of the peaks. So that is crazy. That's insane. All right. So, like I said, Beanstalk Giant, and then the sorcery, the adventure portion of Beanstalk Giant is ramp. Search for a library, search a library for any basic clan, put on the battlefield. Not tapped. Can be key. Turn two, turn Timber Symbiosis. And then, of course, four Genesis Ultimatums and three Ugins. Any ramp deck in standard right now cannot run Ugin. Or can not not run Ugin. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Cannot not run. Yep, Ugin. 
you know what he does. You're most likely casting him and then you're minusing him. Um, I still have yet I have yet to see anybody in any of my matches that I've played um, Ultimate Ugin. Just because you know that's a big problem when Ugin comes down. So, and then we have the mana base. Three islands. Two mountains. Four forests. Two river glade pathway. Two lava glide pathways. Four crag crown pathway. Timber crown pathway. Do I cannot say these that this many times in a row. Four catcher triumphs. Four fabled passages. Sideboard. Three ch chain web arachneers. Two negates. Four scorching dragon fire. Two scavenging ooze. And four mystical dispute. Okay. There's the deck. A lot of fun. Um, and you will see that I did have a lot of fun playing this deck. So, that being said, let's get into some games. Alright. Oh, boy. So, going against Yorion. I mean, I have I have a turn three cultivate in hand, so I just I don't know. Do I just I don't I don't feel like turning this hand away, but I feel like I have to. <laughs> oh boy, this is fine. With all the lands, we'll just drop a an island. Yeah, this is good. Able Passage, turn one. Say go. Gonna need green. Yorion. Oh, yep, say go. There we go. Um, Fabled Passage. Forest, you got it. Ketria Triome. I'd much rather do this. Okay, so, yep. Doom foretold. Yeah, we'll on what we're the yeah excuse me we'll visionary next turn feels bad man that's okay draw cobra okay all right all right what do you got opponent Shipwreck Dowser. You got it. Okay, this is a different... This is a different list. Huh. Alright. Um, so I think what we do... I think... We just Bone Crusher. Triome. Oh no! Oh well, I can't do it anyway, so. <laughs> See, th those misclicks always freak you out. Because it's like, no, I did not want to do that. Um, okay. I'm gonna lose three there. I mean, they're gaining some of that back, but that's fine. So unfortunately, Face. 
with two. All right, say go. Okay. All right, what do we got, opponent? What do we got? They gonna activate Destiny Spinner? No. Cost three, right? No, it costs four. Uh, nope, no blocks. Terror of the Peaks. So I do not have a land. One, two, three, four, five. Counter spells is what I'm thinking about. So they can activate it here. Yeah, I'm I'm doing this first just to see if they have they can't do that at instant speed. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Do we yeah, we'll just get in for four. Cause they can't activate Destiny Spinner. Black. Yeah, they've got nothing they could like flash in, I don't think, as a blocker. White. Yeah, so this is Archon of Sun's Grace. You got it. They have three mana open. So they can Mystical Dispute or any counter spell. Are you kidding me? Well, with what I have in my hand, I would rather they counter Terror of the Peaks, but they don't, okay? So then they probably do not have one in hand, is my guess. Okay, that's fine. That cost you seven. No, that cost you five life. Excuse me. Excuse me. Four? Okay, so there's Enigmatic Incarceration. You got it. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. I just need a land. Hopefully they do not have a counter spell in hand. Three, four, five, six, seven. Beginning of your end step, you may sack an enchantment if you do. Search your library for a creature card with CMC equal to one plus. All right, so Oracle. Boy. Yeah, it's two or less. So either you get... I don't want him to get Yorion. Normally they're just gonna take the one with the... Boy. I'd rather them grab Lurus, to be honest. But they're probably not going to. That's fine. Three, four, five. Okay, do we think they have a count? Do we think that's a counter spell in hand? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, that's a legit, that's a legit question. They have blue, blue. Blue. Green. Green. You can cast anything. So I think. Oops. Sorry. We try for Ugin. Four. Minus four. And you will go Minus X. One, two, three, four. Yep. There we go. You. Yep. Kenrith? You can't activate Kenrith. I will destroy you got it? Please do that. 
please. No, most likely they'll Yorion to hand and then cast Yorion. Yeah, Kenrith here is good. I need more lands, though. In order to do anything, I need more lands. You got it. Oh, not going to do anything. Okay. Okay. Can I not block? Oh, I can still block. Sweet. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have green, green, red. Okay. So what we're gonna do. As a land, pay three life. Chanice's ultimatum. Boy, two, three, four. Four hits is, yep, that's game. Face, face, wow, good game, wow. Genesis ultimatum is broken. <laughs> Crazy, okay. Um, I'm going first. I think I keep it. I don't like turning away hands that have um, a good amount of mana sources in them. And go. Alright, let's see what the opponent is on. Probably Rakdos. Um, any card so I'm actually gonna do this that way I mean he's most likely gonna select Genesis ultimatum most likely okay or terror peaks you got it and magic's easy this is drew another one anyway okay yep I mean, they're obviously on Rakdos colors so far. So let's see what else my opponent has. Just removal. Inscription of Ruin. All right, so they're on a so they're on discard. Um, because I don't want to get rid of. Yikes! We're gonna do this. Yeah, I'm far away from casting. We're going to get rid of... We're just going to get rid of those. Oh, shoot. I did not think about that. Gosh darn it. I was not paying attention there. Forgot I had a mana dork on the field. Good, Timurit. And they whiffed. Fable Passage for a mountain. That way I can still get in, right? Ah, uh, yes, red, red, three, three, yep, we're good. Get in, get in. Tear the peaks. Say go. All right. They need to take care of Five, six, seven. They target here, they lose two. They at least have a blocker. Top deck, they topped it. Or they topped it. They scried and then they left it on top. There we go. Yep, three life. You got it. 
that kind of sucks. Um, do we trade? Offer the trade. Okay. They don't take the trade. And go. So that's zero. They get nothing off of that. Nine cards in the yard. Channeler. You got it. It's a 4-4. Four, four. They have to block it. They have to block Bone Crusher Giant next turn. They Kroxa. I take three. Because then I have to discard the island. Three, four, five, six. Okay. What do we draw? Cultivate? Sure. We're gonna we are going to get in. We're gonna trade. They have to trade. Heartless act, okay. There's removal. Sure. Yep. Cause I can't <clears throat> I don't want them untapping with it. You know what I mean? Um we'll put forest on the field and then play that okay don't know what this card is so at this point i am i'm top decking top agonizing remorse you got it force them to use that And my turn. We draw. Turn Timber Symbiosis. One, two, three, four, five. Front side. Auto pay. Tear of the Peaks. Do we tear the Peaks? Yes, we tear the Peaks. Why do we tear the Peaks? Um, because if they target it, they have to take three. They. It's an additional three life to cast. Boom. There you go. That's why I chose Tear of the Peaks over um, the giant, the giant where power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you have. Um, yes, this is a fantastic hand. It's literally everything. Everything we need. Keep, 100%. Okay, Triome, go. Um, okay, so we are on. Yep. You got it. Essence scatter is what they need here. Okay. But and they don't counter it, so. We have four. Blood Chief Thirst, you got it. Get that out of your hand. Mill two. Take a damage. You got it. All right. So now I'm gonna. The reason I'm gonna do this. Okay. Interesting. You got it. I'm kind of. I I want to just drain their hand. Yep, mill two, cultivate, shatter skull, you got it. So the fact that I have a shatter skull in hand is kind of good. Three, four, we have five mana. So we have red and blue. Um, let's, let us, let's get green. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if it does resolve um we will get a we'll get a forest um one two three we can't do anything else so if they flash in soaring thought thief let's say they flash in two thieves guild Enforcers. That's eight. No, we're going to stay back. 
fairy vandal. You got it. Okay. Mill. All right, so Terror of the Peaks. I want that to resolve. So we're gonna do this. It's three blue, which we don't have very much of, so we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So X can be five. Front side, X is five. Three, four, five. Go. I don't want to I don't want them to counter tear the peak, so that's fine. Mill, sure. Doesn't give them doesn't add any toughness. Okay. So it gets rid of your buff. You got it. He only they only get the counter when they draw the second card. Oh, it's each turn. Okay. So I thought it was just on their turn, but it is not. It is on each turn. You got it. Okay. So we're going to do the... Nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. I have two big spells in my hand. Okay. Nope. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to trade. I 100% will trade here. 100%. Oh, that's fine. Sure. But, now the question is... No. Oh, I think it's Janice's ultimatum. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's all right. Get another. We get one in hand. Um, can we? Red. Red. Yes, we can. Sweet. Red. Three, four, five. There we go. Next. Nope. Go. Pass. Yep, we got there. Dude, man, this deck is just, oh, dude, it's crazy. One, two, three. A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. Okay. Uh, Gorion, yeah, I think this is fine. Right, yeah. So we shall go like that. This is, I'm wondering, okay. Three forests <laughs> with Yorion. So let's see, is this the Celeste? What? Huh. That's interesting to me. Then we'll do this. Two. Red. Red. Bone Crusher Giant. Yep. And now we get in for two. Say go. All right. Okay, what? Okay, Gargara, you got it. Red, red. Nope, go. Yep. 
Torvo, you got it. Yep. And you're gonna choose what? Draw a card, it's kinda what I thought. No blocks. You got it. Shatter Skull Smashing. Green, green. Um, we will go red. And fall. Red. Blue. Three. Oh, shoot. I did this the wrong way. But that's okay. One there. Any creature on the field. Yep, I, I, that was bad. That was my fault. I should have went Terror of the Peaks first. Yep, that was, sequencing was way off there. All right, what do we got, opponent? Okay, so all right, can we shatter skull for X is six? So that means I need to go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sure. And a mono green list though. What are we? Well, it doesn't even matter if. Yep. I need They only have one they only have one mana. They have one open mana. Okay, hey, that sucks, but that's fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Yes. That's fine. Bone Crusher Giant. That's four. That's so five, nine, nine, ten, eleven. Can we can we shatter skull for X is five? Three, four, five, six. No, we can shatter skull for X is four only. So we're gonna do this. Number one. Number two. Three. Four, okay. I mean, I could have gotten him down to one. Yep, sure. Primal Might. Yep, three life. You got it. Sure. Three mana left. You got it. Now they have none left. I'll take five, no blocks. Down to four. And, well, yeah. 
How do I want to end it? Doesn't matter. Two. Got him. Yeah, it took me took me down to the wire. Down to the wire there. That was good. Uh, I don't like Ugin in the opening hand, but everything else is is good. Everything else is good. All right. So we'll try them. Turn one. And then Galia. Interesting. Um, I have not seen Golly in a long time. Yeah, we're going to pass here. Yep. Let's see what they do post main. Ah. You got it. So Nothing. We're just going to say go. I'm gonna take at least four here. Quite okay, or eight. Puts me down to ten. No blocks. Yep. Uh, my turn. Okay. Fabled passage. That's one. Crack both of them. That's two more. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's Genesis ultimatum. Okay. Okay, let's go blue. Crack one. So that can be whatever. Get a blue. Um, blue. You are going to be a green. Uh, we're going to get green. Green, green, blue, 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 red, red. Genesis ultimatum. Terror. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> baby. That is where it's at. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then I say that. Yep. We're going to we're going to punt. We're punting. Punt. But these lands give me all of my colors. They do. Nope. Uh, teamer again? Oh, okay, so probably mirror. Nope. Adventures. Two. We're going to do this. Backside. Pay three life. <clears throat> One. Two. You go on the field. <laughs> yep. Brush fire elemental. You got it. Yep. So tear the peaks. Coming down next turn. You got it. Bone Crusher Giant. Maybe not. I think we do this. We go Lotus Cobra. Number one. Yeah, you know what? We just wait. No. We Shatter Skull. Um, sure. That's fine. <clears throat> sure. 
Access two, front side. One, one, submit. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Yep. Okay. You got it. We got five mana. We're gonna do this. Tear the peaks. Just because I need lands. I'll do that. He cannot attack. Targets him. Okay. So we have another one. It's gonna take six. Okay. I'm fine with that. Um, sure, let's do this. Another one. And turn. Yep. Wicked Wolf. You got it. That's fine. Man, the more I think about it, <clears throat> Bone Crusher Giant is just, oh, dude, it is such a good card. We're gonna do this. Forest. Why is it such a good card? Okay. Well, when you do the two damage, you're not losing the card, right? You're not losing it. So it's not like shock where you just do the two damage and that's it. He comes back as a 4-3, like right now. It's it's just, it's really, really, it's so good. One, two, three, that's fine. Man, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> And there's tapped. Yep, we'll wait. <clears throat> oh, I know why. Because, so, oh, a few games ago. Um, uh, yes, so that means Ember Cleave is coming. We're going to go like this. I'm gonna double block with one of them. No, actually, I think we do it like this. I think you go like that. Yeah. Oh, what just happened? Did I just not block? Whoops. Sorry. I misclicked. I unselected Beanstalk Giant from the other one. I'm, I messed that up. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do in my head. This is correct. This is what I wanted. I wanted double block, double block this one with this one and this one. And then, yeah, which I knew that was coming. So, oh, okay. So it puts me down to four. You got it. Uh... So, six, minus X, one, or five, X is six. So we're going to want to get rid of Ember Cleave. Um, yep. So now we do this. And turn. That's two Bone Crushers at least. Uh, yep, you got it. I don't care so much. All right, so that's game.
You can even just wait till he activates it, because he's most likely going to activate it on his turn. Um, yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> he can activate it again. He'll be a 4-4. Four four, but that's fine, because next turn we'll tear the peaks first. Next will be Bone Crusher Giant. Because it still resolves. That's fine. It still resolves, so that's fine. He had, he had to use his mana there. So we just tear the peaks. Bone Crusher Giant dealing four to the scavenging ooze. And then we swing in for ten. Yep. Got him. All right. That felt good. Yep. All right. We're still on tier three. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, even in the even in the games, I think that I lost. I was still having, I still I still was having a lot of fun with this deck. Um, I hate playing against this deck. <laughs> I do personally, uh, just because I get salty. <laughs> so when I'm playing and piloting this deck, it's fun. So I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you all thought of the deck. Did you like it? Do you, do you guys do you guys play do you guys play Team of Ramp? Um, how's it performing for you? Um, let me know. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought, If you, um, how you would do this differently, how you'd build this differently. Um, so, yeah, leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. All right. See everybody.